Welcome to Common Core Math. This is Grade 7, Module 2, Lesson 9. The focus of this lesson is on applying the properties of our operations to add and subtract rational numbers. We are going to look at the problem set, Problem 1 and then Problem 3. The directions read, show all steps taken to rewrite each of the following as a single rational number. So question 1 reads, 80 plus negative 22 and 4 fifteenths. In order to show all of our steps, we're taking the number 80 and we're subtracting off not only 22, but the 4 fifteenths. So we could rewrite this as we're taking 80, we're subtracting off 22, and we're also subtracting off the 4 fifteenths. Now that's one way of writing if you want to write it as subtraction, or you could write it as 80, we're adding on the negative 22, and we're adding on the negative 4 fifteenths. The first two expressions are exactly the same. Subtracting is the same as adding a negative. Well, in order to use our properties, let's take the whole numbers and do those first. So 80 plus negative 22, which is the same as 80 take away 22, well, that part would be 58. So we have 58 plus the negative 4 fifteenths, or the 58 minus 4 fifteenths. In order to write that, in order to subtract, we're going to think of 58 as 57 and 15 fifteenths, 15 fifteenths being the one whole plus the 57, making it 58, plus we're taking away the negative 4 fifteenths. So we have 57 with 15 fifteenths, and when we subtract off the 4 fifteenths, we'll still have 57, but instead of having the 15 fifteenths, we'll only have 11 fifteenths. So the answer as a single rational number is 57 and 11 fifteenths. Now let's jump to question number three. This one combines decimals and fractions. It reads 1 fifth plus 20.3 minus negative 5 and 3 fifths. Let's use our properties of numbers, and instead of subtracting, we can think of this as 1 fifth plus 20.3. Instead of subtracting the negative, we can think of adding this 5 and 3 fifths. Now we can go in any order, so let's take the two that are fractions and let's combine those together. So let's add the 1 fifth and the 5 and 3 fifths. So we're going to think of it as 1 fifth plus 5 and 3 fifths. And then when we're done, we'll add on the 20.3. Well, the 1 fifth plus the 5 and 3 fifths, our whole numbers will add to 5, and the 1 fifth plus the 3 fifths will be 4 fifths. So for that part, we have 5 and 4 fifths. And let's add on 20.3. Now we could either make both of these into decimals or both of these into fractions. Let's make them both into fractions. So we'll take, leave the 5 and 4 fifths as it is. And 20.3 is really 20 and 3 tenths. 0.3 being 3 tenths. Now in order to add them, we need to have a common denominator. So instead of thinking of it as 4 fifths, we'll multiply those both by 2. So we really have 5 and 8 fifths, excuse me, 8 tenths and 20 and 3 tenths. We'll add the whole numbers together. We'll get 25. And we'll add the 8 tenths and the 3 tenths to be 11 tenths. But that's an improper fraction. So that's really 25 plus 1 and 1 tenth. And the final answer is 26 and 1 tenth. Had we chosen to do it as in decimal form, the answer would have been 26.1.